The Berenstein Bears Night Before Christmas by Mike Berenstein. It was Christmas Eve in the Bear family's treehouse, and they were more than ready for a visit from Santa Claus. The tree was beautifully decorated, the stockings were carefully hung by the fireplace. Brother, sister, and honey even put out a snack of milk and cookies for Santa. Good idea, said Papa. Sliding down the chimney is hard work. Old St. Nicholas will be hungry. St. Nicholas, said Brother. Who's he? That's an old name for Santa Claus, exclaimed Mama. Or he was just called St. Nick. St. Nick, repeated Sister. That's cute. There's a famous old poem about him, said Papa, getting a dusty book from the shelf. Let's read it together. Actually, said Brother, we're planning on watching the Nutty Bears meet Santa Claus on TV. It's our Christmas Eve tradition. Mama didn't think the Nutty Bears were very Christmassy. All they did was hit one another over the head. I think it's time to start a new Christmas Eve tradition, she said firmly. TV isn't everything. There's such a thing as a plain old-fashioned book. Papa opened the book and the cubs saw its brightly colored pictures. It looked pretty interesting. Go ahead and read it, Papa, said Sister. So Papa began to read A Visit from St. Nicholas. T'was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap, when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprung from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, to open the shadows and threw up the sash, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his Courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turned around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He had a broad face with a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then torn with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney who rose. He sprung to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Papa closed the book. Well, how did you all like a visit from St. Nicholas, he asked. Shh, said Mama. The cubs were all asleep. Papa and Mama carried the cubs upstairs and nestled them down all snug in their beds. Sometimes, said Mama, as she kissed the cubs good night. There's just nothing like a good book. They went to bed themselves and settled down for a long winter's nap. The Bear family is ready for their very own visit from St. Nicholas. Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.